Welcome to Atlas. In this session, I want to show you how to add a template to an element of time. And if you want to search for, once you have a template set up and you have the elements of time functioning, you can quick search over here by selecting your time button. And then you can type in a piece of the element or the number of the element. But um, in order to add the element, you would go under System Time and Request to the Elements of Time homepage. Once you're on the homepage, you'll notice it shows up to start with in the calendar view. And today's date shows here with the three red stars. And you can see that we don't have anything scheduled at this time. And in order to schedule something, you would click on the day. And you'll notice that I purposely left this one where it's missing a master time template. So in order to use the scheduler, you have to set up the time templates. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to View All Master Time Templates. And you can see we have no time templates set up yet. We're going to add a new one right up here at the top. And the template name that I'm going to use for this one, I'm going to do Sticky Note. There's Sticky Note. And I'm not going to have any title or caption, although you can select that if you wish. Let's take that out of there. And we're going to use a main start date that's required. And I do want to record a start time. Um, I don't care about the end date, and I don't really care about the end time. And I'm going to leave this one fairly simple. There's a lot of features here that you can go through that you can choose. Um, I do want to select a color. And I'm going to use yellow for my sticky note. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to go all the way down to the bottom. Like I said, there's other subs that you can add. And we'll get into those a little later, but I'm just going to add the template. Now, if I go back to the admin on my templates, you can see I now have sticky note. And this is where I can edit the sticky note. I can also create an element of time using the sticky note. But what I think I want to do is I want to go all the way back to the home page again. I'm going to come underneath here to elements of time. And this time I'm going to come down to today's date. I'm going to click on the date. And then I'm going to put in here and let's just say set up uh, sticky note. And if you wish, you can put notes in here. Just so you know, these notes fields are unlimited in length. And you can also use HTML. If you know any HTML, you can use some HTML. There's a simple HTML file here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'm not going to make it private. And I'm not going to make it for admin. And I'm going to do my action status as in progress. And I'll add my element of time. So this is the element that I created. This is the time number. It's number one. So that way, if I wanted to, I can come up here, go to time, and I can search number one. And then it's going to obviously take me back to this same little where I put a sticky note in. It shows who the user is. You can also tie these to a client. You can tie them to an employee. You can tie them to a vendor. Um, you can interface them with locations and quite a few other options that's on that uh, page where you're setting them up. If I go back to the Elements of Time homepage and I scroll down, I see now that I have my element showing up here. If you get more than one element in one day, they continue just to show up and pretty soon you'll have a little scroll bar. These field sizes are controlled off of the corp wide settings page and there's also um, features there that I'll have another little tutorial on that will deal with setting up some of the features for these. The other thing that, uh, that we want to take a look at real quick is you do have different views. We have a calendar view, we have a time slot view. So on the time slot view it would show my elements if I had any elements in there and also you can do a grouped and we have one on Wednesday, which is our little sticky note down here. You can look at, of course, the month. You can also look at um, next month, if you wish, or last month. 
and then you can jump back to the calendar. And so to kind of recap, what we did was starting from the main page, I showed you how you can search for a time if you click on the little time button and put the time element in here. You can also go here to your calendar and you'll see the calendar display and any elements of time that you have posted on the calendar. Also we went to set up a new one, add edit master time templates and here's where we set up our sticky note. To add another one you would click on here and fill out the uh, form and select all the functions that you want to include on that form. Remember that the forms get really complicated as far as the different options that are available. Make sure and check out the help file. So there's a help file here. There's also a help file here as well. So you can see there's quite a bit of verbiage on this help file that goes through all these templates and, and features. Anyway, that's how to add a element of time template in Atlas. And once again, um, thank you for choosing Atlas.